course, Bill Oaks, all the officials. We saw different matchups in game three, utilized by Paul Westfall. What are you looking for here tonight? And the early going, Phoenix six and Chicago two. Michael Jordan getting on his first attempt. Game five here in Chicago on Friday night. And the Suns want to make it a game six back in Phoenix on Sunday. Well, since Richard Dumas is playing so well, it's going to be interesting if Michael may have forgotten how to shoot him. Well, he made three out of Spot right. Played by Barkley. Jordan. Yes. Now Jordan guarded by Dumas. Molly over to help, but leaves Pippen open. And Pippen goes to the hoop. No, 25. No. And the Suns, 22. Bulls have hit their last seven straight as Michael Jordan makes it four for seven. Have led by as many as seven. Michael Jordan on target. He's five out of eight. Eleven points. Seldom used during the season. Jordan, yes, and it counts. Jordan feel he can beat Dan Marley off the dribble anytime he wants to, and he does it right there, scooping for two. Now that's the reason why they switched KJ and put KJ on him in game uh, three. And now Barkley facing the triple team. Charles was so concerned about McCray coming down from the top that he lost sight of Stacey King from behind him. Jordan with 15. The Bulls lead 35 to 31. So you don't really have the challenge that that's there today or uh, at this particular time. And uh, I think that's helped me motivate my game and be more consistent with my play. You kind of miss the dark sunglasses look. Three minutes gone by in the second quarter. Now lead 37 35. Here's Jordan. 19 for Jordan. There aren't, there aren't a whole lot of jump shots coming out of Michael Jordan this evening. He's taking it to the rim. Jordan. The lead that I, I read in a Chicago paper today, the second quarter, and he has 20 of the Bulls. He feels pretty good. He hasn't had to play KJ on Michael a whole lot here so far, and they're still close enough. If he needs him a lot in the second half, he should be fresh. Michael Jordan, 10 for 14. Here's Jordan. Kevin Johnson called for the foul, reaching in. Couldn't beat KJ off the dribble on that first step. KJ did a good job keeping the ball in front of him. Jordan with some room. Using screens to free himself up. Now he has the jumper over the top of KJ. KJ just not big enough to get out. Balls over for the last six. Michael Jordan has returned and gets right to it. 29 for Jordan. Chambers with room. It was deflected by Grant. Grant with the block. Jordan around Marley. Jordan! up no one closes down you've got to get to Michael sooner you let him get inside the foul line area you know he's going to take off from there elevate and keep flying to the front of the rim you've got to get him to pick up that dribble by the dotted line area that has not been one of Charles's forte he's shooting from downtown Michael Jordan 14 for 20 he has 33 points Charles Barkley 6 of 13 Michael Jordan once again with the extension, he just takes Dumas, head fakes him to the baseline, come back to the middle, and scores on him. If you go back to the first half, we showed you him crossing over right to left. That time he gave you a little zigzag. Chambers. And Grant able to get to it. Scott Williams has replaced Bill Cartwright. Jordan around Dumas. Yes! Jordan Dumas is good, except he's got to guard him off the dribble, which is bad. Richard Dumas cannot play Michael no Jordan. No way can you put a man that's not used to guard Michael Jordan or guarding guards. Probably guarding Jordan. Dumas also there. Pippen. Oh, here is Charles Barkley. Ball's fortunate to get it back. Here's Jordan. And again, Jordan with it. Armstrong for three. We'll tie in with guys are friendly will be unlikely as Jordan tries to slice through and he is he is found and Jordan will do it on the road to get himself back involved Jordan for Grant oh, beautiful pass this one is 
made a couple jumpers early, which got his confidence level up. Right now, he's just two for nine from the floor. Not real confident shooting. Michael Jordan, very confident shooting the ball. That's been the matchup. Jordan guarded by Johnson, and a foul call. Ames coming over to him. In a scoring position. Try to back him at that time, but Chicago had cleared out the left side of the floor. Ames changed his mind, started to go up. Crowd wanted to travel, and then it's thrown away. Oh, Jordan and Ainge trash talking. Ainge with his hands on Jordan. Jordan just told him, get your hands off me. Michael with the left elbow into Ainge's midsection. There they felt he traveled. Ainge feels the pressure, thinks his teammate's going to float to the right sideline in front of the Bulls bench, but nobody's there. Now Michael's talking to him, letting him know that the pressure's going to get worse. Ainge will take it so far, and then he's going to hold his ground. And scoring like they're doing. Jordan. Jordan. Johnson with the ball fake went all the way. Here comes Jordan. Michael Jordan, who sees the opportunity. Chambers does not step up high enough. But then again, with Michael floating, who keeps the time right here on NBC? Crossover ball for Jordan and finishes with the finger roll. Plus the foul. When he crosses over right to left, I cannot stay with him. I know it's coming, and there it is, right to left. He gets the step, and then the elevation, and then the finish. And it's controlled by Chicago. Jordan using the official Hugh Evans as a screen, and then he's pushed. Oh, Ainge and Jordan going at each other. You're going to watch it right here. After the foul, Michael throws his elbow up. Danny was hollering for an elbow. Then they got tangled up here. Danny gets mad, grabs the ball. Michael, they're just exchanging right now. Barkley or Tom Chambers. KJ is trying to do it, but I don't think he can do it by himself. They want to play good defense without fouling right now. There is a seven-second disparity between the shot clock and the game clock. Jordan, yes! You know, it would have been better for Charles to foul him all the way. And remember, I was talking about whether Charles would hard foul Michael Jordan. It was time for that hard foul right there. Instead, instead of fouling him, and it's a chance for the three-point play. Jordan puts the ball on the floor, goes to the basket to try and initiate contact. Instead of taking his arms down, Charles blocked the drive to the basket. Gives Chicago the lead. The point number 55. Time running out on the Suns here in game four. Miller fires. So the Chicago Bulls have taken a three games to one lead on the Phoenix Sun. Michael, the Phoenix Sun caught you guys a little emotionally down on Sunday. That didn't happen tonight. Well, I think we learned from the game the other night. I know we had a, a dog fight. We had our chance to win, but we knew we didn't play extremely well. We knew we could play better basketball. Uh, today, we, we still had some lapses in the 48-minute in the game, but, you know, we, we struggled down the stretch, but we did what we had to do to win, both. When I talked to you this afternoon, I have never seen you more determined than you were before this game tonight. Well, I was very disappointed with the way I played last game. You know, I, I had a lot of chances to win the ball game. And I didn't really converge on it. So I wanted to you know, do my part this game and hopefully give ourselves a chance to win the game. Did you worry at any time that maybe the other guys weren't getting involved in the offense? Yeah, that was a little nervous, you know, at the beginning of the game because I was getting some easy shots. I was getting some penetrations, some layups. And I didn't know how the guys were going to stay within the game. But I, I think they did a good job. I think we did a good job keeping them involved. One of the things, it looked like one of your strategies was to get to the hoop more. Well, we didn't get many fouls last game, and I said, you know, I'm going to get some fouls. If I don't get fouls, I'm going to get some easy layups. So I had to go to the hole. All right, congratulations to you, and we'll see you on Friday. All right. All right, thanks, Michael. Back to you, Mark.